videos of audio. Just get the f Just get the f Do you hear me, bro? Do you hear me? You're starting to hear from down here. God. F all next. Just get the f Just kidding guys. If you watched the last video, we had a lot of audio mess ups and Nabil and I both apologize, we both messed up. We have found the issue, it will not happen again. I want you guys to give this video a thumbs up and we're about to get started by going to Shali's house right now. Shelly's always got rap music playing on the CD. I'm in Shelly's house, about to help move apartment to apartment. One bedroom, two bedroom, more space. Gonna help him with his life, be happier, have more space for Myla. So we move it, we move it, we move it right now. That's why Nabil and I are here to help him move because we're the best bros in town. All right, so huge shout out to Nabil and Christian for helping me move into the new spot today. Still waiting on furniture and everything to come in. The movers are doing that right now. We hired small. movers, but we still came yeah, in. Yeah, we do. these movers. Movers are pretty bad. They're just moving really slow. We've moved everything like faster than they have, and I'm actually paying them to do that. So I think I learned my lesson. But the, the reason for this move was because of the space, obviously. There's a lot more spaces than my old apartment. It's like double the square feet. So my old apartment was 730. This is around 14 something. So two bedrooms, pretty much three bedrooms because we're gonna put like a sofa bed up there. So three bedrooms, a lot more space, downtown view. It's gonna be sick once it's all furnished and everything. I'm probably gonna do like a little apartment tour whenever I update everything on my channel. But you'll be seeing it in Christian's videos because he's gonna come, up, come over a lot more. Yeah, I'll be here a lot more. Today is Heidi's launch. She has a launch today, so I'm making her some breakfast, trying to be a good boyfriend, so I got her, uh, well, I made both of us the same exact thing. I cooked five whole eggs, so this is like two and a half and two and a half. I put a massive handful of spinach, and this is probably about three to four ounces, probably about four ounces of some leftover steak that my mom cooked up last night. Uh, it was so nice, they cooked it up, and they brought it over to my mom and my dad, and then uh, we weren't even here, we were watching a movie. Which, by the way, we saw Player One, or? Player One. Player One? Uh, amazing, 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 amazing. I get, I give it a nine out of ten. Uh, honestly, like, I would, I recommend everyone go watch it. How do you give it a ten out of ten? I think. I did. It was so good. Oh, did, it was so nine good. out of ten. Nine out of ten. Yeah. Hey Joe, back up. Nine out of ten or ten? What's your rating on the movie last night? Ten out of ten. Yeah. Like nine, Yeah. Ten out of ten. Go watch it for sure. Um, so we're gonna eat this and then go work out. See you there. Are you a pretty, pretty unicorn? She's a beautiful little <laughs> unicorn. <laughs> and you got the independent woman outside. Come on. Come on, Ava. There you go. Okay. Heidi's launch went extremely well. Super proud of her. It's funny, Joe's kind of like 
go back and forth. I feel like this launch or uh, hype and like everything was on point. Yeah. For the cohesiveness of the launch, you know what I mean? Yeah. What's going on, family? Welcome back to another commentary. Today, I'm going to take you through my leg workout. And we started off with three sets of five on the barbell squat. Last week, I did 335 pounds for three sets of five. So I wanted to try 345 this time. And two things I want to note. Number one, I'm squatting in commerce today, which I normally squat in my Addy Powers, my squat shoes, which have an elevated heel, but I just forgot them. I didn't have them. And I feel like you can kind of tell in this first set, I was sort of trying to find my groove and find a rhythm. And it just really didn't happen for me um, today. But the second thing I wanted to note is I was actually squatting with Heidi. We were working out together. And so that's why like the the, un, the rack is so low. I normally wouldn't set it that low because it's kind of difficult to come out. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. I would have set it probably one or two notches higher. Uh, but anyway, here is my second set of five. And I wasn't really happy with the set. You can kind of see some things that I'm gonna diagnose here, but the weight was too heavy and it was pretty humbling not being able to complete it. I should have tried 340 pounds or even 330 again and just try to get better form or 335 than last week. But you can see here, when the weight's too heavy, I have a tendency to kind of look up with my neck. And so ideally you want your spine and your neck to be in a neutral position. Uh, you don't want to be looking up like I'm doing there. It just looks really painful. Uh, also when the weight's too heavy, my knees tend to start caving in. And you may see that a lot with when you're squatting or when you see other people squat, their knees kind of come in, they look up, it looks like they're just really trying to not let that weight fall down. And it, it was just not pretty. So I dropped the weight down to 315 pounds. Uh, and I wanted to show you guys like a much better form, a, a set with much better form. So here we go. Again, the bar's super low, but we made it work. Came up, my back was super tight and got my positioning. Big breath right here. Breathe in and then you go down, you descend, you explode out of the hole and you can see here my neck. Notice I'm not looking up. My neck is in a much more neutral position than the 345 pounds. And this just felt so much better this set. So, so much better. My knees are not caving in. I'm focusing on driving them out. Uh, so spine neutral, neck neutral, knees are driving out. I'm keeping the weight on my heels. I'm, I'm driving my heels on the floor and trying to push through my heels and keep, I'm trying to keep my chest up as well. So that was my final squat set. Next week, I'll probably either try 335 again or 340. But what I've been noticing by squatting heavy first is that it almost like gives me this fuel to jump onto a leg press and just do a ton of volume. So I did five working sets on this. It's actually a squat press this, uh, machine. It's a little bit more quad emphasis uh, or has a little bit more of a quad emphasis. I did eight plates for, I want to say like two sets on each side. And then I did seven plates and six plates. And I burned out with like five plates for like 20 reps or something like 25 reps. Uh, then we went on to this movement. Like I said, I was working out with Heidi and this looks super awkward, super dumb because I've never done these before in my life, but essentially it's this hack squat lunge. I think I was supposed to have my leg all the way like straight and back. Not the most flexible of uh, us, but yeah, I did feel this like crazy in my quads with my hamstrings and my glutes, just like a lunge. You're really just mimicking lunge here. Uh, it was just a little bit different of a way to do them. I probably won't be doing these very often. Um, but yeah, you can try those out if you want. And then moved on to a lying hamstring curl, five sets of about 12 to 15 reps. I went ahead and spit the footage up here because I've talked about lying hamstring curls a lot in the past, right? You're trying to make your heels touch your butt uh, as you come all the way up. That's your mental cue. I want my heels to literally kick myself in the butt um, to get a full range of motion, control the weight down. And I finished off with some calves. Yes, I do train them. They don't really grow, but I, I do train them. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the vlog. We just hired Kelsey. She is now working here at the gym three days a week, closing time. So this is Kelsey, good to meet you. Good to meet you. Good to meet the vlog. Now we're about to head out. Dad's here working out. Now it's here all wrapped around. Ava's still being held because that's Ava. For my post-workout meal, I'm having the exact same thing I had in the last video. This is a poke bowl from Seaside. And yesterday when we went, I got an extra one identical uh, just to have today. But I will say, this one is nowhere near as good as a fresh one. So I took all the toppings off and then I heated the rice up and then I put the toppings back on, but it's just not the same. All right, what's up guys? We're about to pull up to the gym. It's currently one o'clock on, man, we didn't go to church today, babe. Is this we, your first year never going to church? Um, right. We're gonna be watching the thing from my uh, laptop. 
watching the download. Yep, watching the downloaded version. Because I want to go to my church, and my church is in San Antonio, so I'd rather just watch it on my laptop. Oh, let's yeah, yeah, I'm down. I'm down for that. So we're gonna do that today. We're going to the parents' house. Last night, we went out with some friends. Uh, it was the Saturday before Easter. Charlie wanted to celebrate moving to his new place. Hattie had some friends in, Paige Hathaway, Lauren Drain, and her husband Dave was like super cool. We went to EDC together uh, this past year. They're super and fun. They're super fun. So everyone was in town. We went out, we had a fun time. Uh, we went to Spire, and I woke up this morning. Here's a point of the clip. Uh, and well, is alcohol good for you? No. Is drinking alcohol good for prep? No. Is it good for muscle? No. Is it good for fat loss? No. But you have to live life a little bit and enjoy. Yeah, your life is not just dieting and macros. Okay? Life is the, dieting and macros. And so either you're shredded or you're stupid. Just kidding. Just be shredded all year round. The more shredded you are, the happier you are. The more shredded you are, the happier you are. <laughs> <laughs> like little angel on yeah. your shoulder. Be shredded your whole life. I forgot to weigh myself, so I chugged like literally probably a liter and a half of water. And after I chugged it, I was like, oh man, I didn't weigh myself. So I was 183 flat, but I would have been lighter. But... It might have been a new little in, but I was dehydrated because of alcohol dehydrates you, so yeah. Kind of a wasted way in day, I guess. Um, I'm so inspired. I'm so inspired. <laughs> Hashtag shower shredding. <laughs> Hashtag dedication. Hashtag dedication. Hey guys. Okay. Good morning. Wow. How are you? Good to see you. So, Dan, are you in? We're good. We didn't eat breakfast, but whatever, we made it. Oh, yeah. How are you, brother? Good to see you. How you feeling? Uh, <laughs> you used to race bikes, right? I did a CCS at LRS. Uh, yeah, CBR 600R. I had a R1 SB 650. Yeah. Well, if you, want, if you want to take this one for a spin, bro, I think, I think, I think, I think you could handle it. I could probably win it. Whipping cream, like, all kinds of stuff, and I was just like, is this normal? Like, does it feel right? Alright, I just finished up an amazing workout that you guys are going to see in just a minute, but first I wanted to go ahead and ask Lauren a question. She has so much credentials, she's a major fitness model, mass on social media, uh, big influencer, she is a nurse, she is an author, she has a lot under her belt, and I figured it'd be cool to kind of ask her, hey, in your leg training, what would be like one movement? If you had to pick one movement that you want to show people that you think benefits you a lot, that you do very frequently, what would it be? And she chose her exercise. She's going to walk you guys through it. Um, guys and girls, try it out. I know that I tend to do a lot of male dominant workouts because I'm a male and my majority demographic is male, but I do have about 20, 25% female demographics. So ladies, Lauren's like a queen of training legs. So check this out and then screenshot my pool workout, which is come right after that clip. So. Enjoy. I'm gonna link Lauren's info in the description box. And hey guys, it's Lauren Train. And what you guys just saw was a weighted split squat with dumbbells. This is an awesome workout for the glutes. The reason I go so deep and so low is to actually get that glute hand involvement. I'm very quad dominant. I'm also very flexible, so to go low is better. Make sure you drive to the heel, keep your weight in the back, and this will help bring the glute to bring the weight up as versus the quads. It's an awesome workout. It's a little bit more challenging than a lunge, and if you want to add even more challenge, you can actually do like a hop with it to drive to the heel and really get that like power recruitment with the glutes. It's an awesome workout. Check it out. Add weight if you need to, and yeah, have fun. Get a booty. Okay, it's pre-workout. Size. My limited edition pre-workout. It's dropping next month. And a BCA. All mixed together. In here.
Ava and Nala are freaking out at these uh, kids, like kids that are here. Like, Ava, I know Ava doesn't like kids. It's really weird. Because like, oh, she, want, she wants to be the baby. This actually leads me to the topic of this video. Today is Easter, so happy Easter, happy right? Happy Easter. But it's also April Fools. Yes, and it's only it kind of lands on the same day. What once every seven years or something? You said. Yep. Something like that. Uh, so. My parents are having us over for dinner, myself, Heidi, Joe, Becca, and Nabil. Uh, mom's cooking steak and rice and all this good stuff. And they're, oh, happy Easter. My mom texts, happy Easter. I feel like they like don't realize it's April Fool's because Easter says, so they're distracted. And so we're gonna play a prank on them. That's pretty mean. Mainly I'm gonna play a prank on them. I am not a part of this. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> so here's Literally. A, so I, I think here's a game plan. Okay, so I'm gonna be like, um, I'm gonna use the restroom and I'm gonna go to the restroom so I'm not a part of this because I my face gives everything away You ask me a question. I'm like yeah, how do you give it away in a second? So she's gonna go to the bathroom and she kind of feel kind of sick yeah. And then I'm gonna take my parents to a separate room and I'm going to tell them that Heidi's pregnant and We're gonna see the I reaction. Think your eyes are gonna get it away. No, I'm gonna be like mom um, Heidi's, I'm gonna kind of like whisper like Heidi's pregnant. I'm gonna judge it as I go and just get, kind of get the reaction and I don't know how they're gonna react because they both know that I don't want kids anytime soon, like at all. So it definitely wouldn't have been intentional or anything. So yeah, and Heidi doesn't want kids either right now, by the way. I know. One day, I do. One day. One day. One day. One day. One one day. One one day. So yeah, that's gonna be the game plan today. We are mean. We're, we're so mean. Very mean. I know, but they won't be expecting it. So be so good. They're supposed to be about Jesus, but instead we're lying, breaking the Ten Commandments. Hey, that's just how. The days played out. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Heidi had this idea of stopping by Walgreens. The plan's gonna change a little bit, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a bag, and we're gonna get some sort of baby item, put the baby item oh, in, like a, baby yeah, baby like a baby. pacifier or something. Oh, that's baby a, a baby bottle, put it in the bag, and I'll be like, hey mom, dad, uh, I need to show you something. And then I'm gonna run to my car, grab the bag, pull into a different room, and I think I'm gonna start it, I'm gonna like, let them open it, and they'll be like, huh? What's your butt? And I'll be like, you guys are gonna be grandparents. You're gonna be grandparents. That's perfect. Oh, let's get a blue one. Because... That's perfect. We should take it out of the packaging, though. Yeah. Yeah, put okay. And put it in the bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. If anyone cries, I'm gonna feel so bad. So we're gonna open this oh my gosh. baby bottle. <laughs> like this, and we're gonna put it inside this bag. Oh, crap. What? I got graduation paper. That's okay. That's okay. Graduating it's, to parents. Gra graduating to parents. It's grandparents. 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 Yeah. Oh wait, put the bottle in. This there. is so bad. I never played an April Fool's joke on them ever. This will be the first one. Oh, perfect. Here we go. Let's see the reaction. Oh my god. 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 Oh my
Yeah, you guys are ready. I didn't I didn't know you were gonna ask. <laughs> Well, everyone knew about it too. Oh, we got him so good. No. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Now you guys are going to Oh man. I can't be there when you have to, You guys have to watch it. I wasn't even crying. They were crying. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> I didn't have to. I didn't have to say anything. I didn't say anything. I was wondering what Heidi was doing. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we nailed it. I was with the bottom like what? Man, my life changed. Oh my gosh! Hey. But I was wondering why Heidi was in. Golden. God, that's a freaky that? one. That's a freaky oh, one. Wow, that's crazy. That was a good wow. one. You're so good. I, I know, I felt so bad. Wow. You are living. Wow. <laughs>